British winters are famously unpredictable, mild and damp one day, crisp and frosty the next. Our island sits between the warm Atlantic and cold European continent, making for ever-changing weather. Usually, winter means rain, wind and the occasional frost, but rarely anything extreme for long. But sometimes, the weather shifts dramatically and we get what's called a big freeze. This isn't just a cold snap, it's a prolonged period of severe cold, with temperatures staying at or below freezing day and night. Hard frosts turn the ground solid and snow can settle for days or weeks, causing travel chaos and daily challenges. A big freeze becomes a national talking point, affecting everyone from farmers to commuters. Councils grit roads, neighbours check on each other and community spirit shines. These events are memorable because they're rare in our usually temperate climate. When forecasters mention a big freeze, it's a signal to prepare for something more serious than the usual winter chill. It's a taste of a true continental winter, right here in Britain. Predicting tomorrow's weather is straightforward, but looking weeks ahead is a different story. Long-range forecasts are about probability, not certainty. Meteorologists study global climate drivers, like El Niño, the jet stream and Arctic sea ice, to spot patterns. Supercomputers run ensemble forecasts, simulating dozens of possible outcomes with slight variations. If most models agree, confidence in the forecast grows. If not, uncertainty remains high. Long-range forecasts offer a broad overview, like a higher chance of cold spells, not specific daily predictions. This information helps governments, energy companies and transport networks plan for potential disruption. For the public, it's an early warning to get ready for winter. Remember, these forecasts are scientific assessments of risk, not promises. They help us prepare for what's likely, even if the details aren't set in stone. So, when you hear about a cold spell weeks in advance, it's about probability, not a guarantee. Use it as a heads up to check your winter coat and boiler. Britain's history is dotted with legendary winter freezes, especially in December. The big freeze of 1962 to 63 began just before Christmas, with blizzards and months of ice and snow, rivers and even parts of the sea froze. December 2010 brought severe cold and heavy snow, even in southern England, driven by Arctic winds and high pressure over Scandinavia. Temperatures plunged to minus 21.3 degrees Celsius in Scotland, causing widespread travel chaos. December 1981 saw record-breaking snowfall, especially in Wales and the southwest, isolating rural communities. These events all share a common cause, a disruption to the usual west-to-east weather flow, replaced by cold air from the north or east. High pressure blocks mild Atlantic air, letting in frigid, dry air from the Arctic or Siberia. The result? Severe frosts, ice and heavy snow. Classic ingredients of a British big freeze. Studying these past events helps us spot the warning signs in today's forecasts. They remind us that while mild winters are common, severe cold is always possible. When the right conditions align, Britain can experience a true winter blast. Weather forecasting starts with global observations. Thousands of stations, ships and balloons gather real-time data. This information feeds into supercomputers running complex models based on physics and fluid dynamics. Satellite imagery lets us track storms, measure cloud temperatures and monitor snow and ice cover worldwide. Meteorologists interpret this data, compare models and use experience to build accurate forecasts. It's the blend of cutting-edge technology and human expertise 
that lets us warn you about events like a big freeze. We don't just predict what will happen, we explain why. That's how we turn science into the story of your weather. Looking ahead to December 2025, forecast models show a strong signal for a significant cold spell. The first week looks typical, but by mid-month, a blocking high-pressure system is likely to develop near the UK. If it forms over Scandinavia, expect bitterly cold easterly winds. If over Greenland, Arctic air could bring more snow. Ensemble forecasts point to a sharp drop in temperatures nationwide from mid-December. Daytime highs may stay below freezing, especially in the north and east, a classic big freeze pattern. While daily details will vary, the overall signal is for a sustained, colder than average second half of December. It's not a white Christmas forecast yet, but it's a clear heads up to prepare for severe winter weather. Get ready for a wintry spell during one of the busiest times of the year. Pinpointing the exact start of a cold snap is tricky, but confidence grows as the date approaches. Latest models suggest the big chill will arrive around Sunday, December the 14th and Monday, December the 15th. Expect a noticeable shift, winds turning east or northeast, temperatures plunging and widespread frosts. By Tuesday, much of the UK could see sub-zero temperatures all day. This marks the start of the main event, with cold air firmly established and likely to persist into Christmas week. The severity will depend on wind and cloud cover, but icy mornings and hard frosts are likely. The timing could shift by a day or two, but the message is clear. Prepare for a major change in the second week of December. Now's the time to ready your home, car and winter gear. The big chill is coming. Why is this winter shaping up to be so cold? Several global factors are aligning. A sudden stratospheric warming event could disrupt the polar vortex, letting Arctic air spill south. The North Atlantic Oscillation is trending negative, weakening westerly winds and allowing high pressure to block mild air. La Nina, in the Pacific, is also increasing the odds of cold, blocked patterns over Europe. Extensive snow cover in Siberia and Scandinavia chills the air that can be drawn towards Britain. When easterly winds arrive, they bring this intensely cold, dry air straight to the UK. All these drivers are coming together, setting the stage for a significant British big freeze. This December, the global weather machine is primed for a true winter event. Preparation is key when a big freeze is on the way. Check your heating and insulate your home. Draw curtains at dusk to keep warmth in. Know how to turn off your water in case of frozen pipes. Before travelling, check forecasts and make sure your car is winter ready. Tyres, antifreeze and a winter kit with blanket, torch and snacks. Dress in layers, wear a hat and gloves and choose shoes with good grip to avoid slips. Hot meals and drinks help keep you warm. Look out for vulnerable neighbours Offer to help or check in on them. Community spirit makes a big difference during tough weather. Small acts like clearing snow or picking up groceries can help everyone stay safe. Being prepared means you can handle the cold snap with confidence. Together, we can weather the big freeze. To sum up, all signs point to a major shift in our weather this December. A blocking high will cut off mild Atlantic air, drawing in bitter cold from the continent or Arctic. The cold is expected to arrive around December the 14th the 16th, bringing hard frosts, ice and the risk of snow. The second half of December looks genuinely cold, so preparation is essential.
take simple steps now. Check your home, ready your car and plan ahead. Stay tuned to forecasts for updates as the details become clearer. By being prepared, you can stay safe and even enjoy the beauty of a true winter's day. Stay warm and look out for each other.